Psalm 77 says, I cry aloud to God. That's how it begins. And it ends with a passage that I love. Your way was through the sea. Your path was through the great waters. Yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Well, if we've ever been in a time where we're needing the Lord to lead us by the hand, it's now. Because one thing is for sure, none of us can tell you exactly what is happening, and none of us can tell you how things are going to turn out in any exact way. But we can tell you about the faithfulness of God, and so as we come to you today, we're trusting in His faithfulness again, just as surely as we have all these years. And I'm saying to you, you need to be expecting that in all the chaos, God is doing something that it'll take years to know. But we'll look back one day and we'll say, uh, He led us through the sea. We've come to give you an update. We've come to tell you a little bit about what's going on. Our president has asked, uh, it, it took some pretty strict measures leading up to April the 5th. And with that as a target date, I need to tell you that we're going to shut down all of the activities at New Life City except for broadcasting a weekend service. Uh, we are going to, we're going to ask you to shut down everything. We just feel like if we cooperate with our leaders with the most strict measures, then we can get through this thing the quickest. That is our hope and that is our prayer. It's time for us to pray for leaders. It's time for us to cry out to God. It's time for us to seek His face. And it's time for us to seize an opportunity. So we're going to take these strict measures in the short term with hope of what God has us uh, doing in the long term. And Gail, there's some exciting opportunities we have. One thing that we would love to encourage you, I, we said in our first video, take this time to rest, renew yourself, spend time with your family, uh, stay away from the television as much as you possibly can. I love the fact that uh, families are finding free uh, opportunities through the internet of things you can do with your children which is so wonderful. And I do believe that you can look forward to Amber, our children's pastor, presenting opportunities for families to take hold of some things that she has planned that she's going to be putting out for you. But the other thing that I think that we have an opportunity to do is to also be mindful of one another. So as people come to your mind, people in the fellowship, yes. we might not be able to be together physically, but we're still together in spirit. Mm -hmm. And so when the Lord puts somebody on your heart, give them a call and find out how they're doing. And let's spend this time connecting with one another personally, even though it might be on the phone, to find out what the needs are and how we can pray for one another. Life group leaders, check on your people. Ministry leaders, check on those that are serving with you and under your care. And then we're going to do a miracle thing, I think. We are going to step in a miracle offering. Uh, a lot of people are going to be uh, losing jobs, losing income, having hard times. We have opened a fund that will be um, an attempt to take care of our own people in the best ways that we can. And so we're going to start a resurrection offering that we're going to open up up till our celebration on Resurrection Day when, when we recognize our Lord's victory over death. And we already have received over $25,000 that we have in a fund, and we're asking that the church would open up your hearts and open up uh, your generosity and pour into that. And then as we find people who are suffering and in need, uh, we're going to do our best to disperse those funds to where they can do the most good. So as hard as this is, I, I think we all feel like Jesus is going to come out victorious in this. And we're going to see the very best of the church rise up and be for one another and help each other. So we're praying for you. We want you to know that the staff, we're still here 
on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're praying for you. We're checking on you as best we can. And we love you. We will have a live service Sunday morning, 10 a.m. It's going to be broadcast on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Those are new. And then we will uh, make opportunities. If you want to if you want to sow into the, uh, the fund, you'll be able to see on your screen uh, how you can access the avenues for that. I'll say it again. His footprints are beyond finding. His path is in the sea. And he has taken us through the great waters. And our Lord will lead us from this chaos into, once again, green pastures. You'll see it. And we do love you. And we're going to keep up with you probably a little bit more regular than you want. We're going to keep talking. God bless you. Bye-bye.